Hi peas, it's finally Friday and it's Candace Smith here with a new card. We're going to do a Halloween card today. We're going to start off as always with our white card base. This is just a half of an 8.5 by 11 that I've cut in half and then I folded. And today we're going to be using the new Echo Park Chillingsworth Manor collection. And I've already cut out, it's so big I can't really show the whole collection on here. Let me show you just some of the papers that they have in here. Got some really fun like ledgers, some bright lime greens and oranges. This one kind of looks like an iron gate. It's got some orange chevrons. This one's really cool. It's got some pumpkins, but the pumpkins have like dictionary paper on them. And this one's probably one of my favorites. Um, it's got the orange and black damask, but then on the other side, it's just black polka dots, and I'm not sure if you can, it looks really busy on the camcorder or not, but, um, I really love this side. I, I think I've already used a whole sheet of this on other projects. We've just got some other fun ones, and of course some creepy dictionary paper, and this one's really fun because it's got a lot of snakes and spiders, and there's vultures, and a oh, human heart is just kind of fun and creepy. And I love creepy when it comes to Halloween. So I decided to go ahead and use this collection to make a card today. I know it's only September, but Halloween is coming up, and... I'm already getting into the spirit of it, so we're going to make a Halloween card today. And this is the orange polka dot paper. I've cut down to size, the same size as my card front. And on the back is the uh, pattern paper that looks like a music sheet, which is kind of fun. But I'm going to be doing a lot of black and white uh, embellishments, so I wanted to use the orange side just to get a little, a little color in the card. Just adhere it to the front. Okay, there's my card, and then I've cut out a little square of craft paper. I like to cut everything ahead of time so you don't have to watch me cut so much. Um, so it's just a little square, and we're going to put it towards the bottom of our card. And I, this is just a little tip, if, for me, it's more eye-pleasing if you try not to cut off the middle of a dot, if you try to just go right beside it. For me it just looks more clean. So this is the bottom of the card. I'm working towards you this time. And I've cut out, it's another thing about this collection, they've got a ton of papers that have a bunch of cutouts and die cuts and stuff. Um, you have to cut them out, they're not already cut out for you. But they have these tags, and I've cut this one out already for you, and it's just a green tag with some a black frame in it. So I've cut this one out, we're going to use this one on our card. And it's not already hole punched, so I'm going to hole punch it because I want to add some twine. Okay. And I'm going to add it to our card a little higher up, I think, just right here. But I'm going to use some foam dots for this. And I want to add, just to kind of bring a little more contrast to the bottom of this craft paper, because it kind of looks like to me like it's blending in with the orange. I have these black photo corners. They're really nice because they're sticky on the back side, so I don't have to lick them like the other ones I've had before. Which does not taste good at all. So I just stick the photo corners on. And this is where we are so far in our card. We're going to add a little bit of twine to the side of the tag. I just have a giant roll of it here. Tie it just like you would your shoe. Although I'm tying it upside down, I guess it doesn't really matter. It. Now I like to droop the ends down. Cut it off right here. I kind of like to cut at an angle so they're different size lengths. Oops, I can get it to cut. There you go. Okay, so we've added our 
twine on there. And now I have a piece of veneer. We have these wood veneer shapes. I love them. I've used them on a lot of my projects, especially the little stars. I've used that in another Finally Friday video. I just think they're so neat and they add so much texture to your card. So I have these wood veneer uh, frames and I really like this big starburst. They have a small one too, but I don't think that's going to work for what we want to do today. So I'm going to use the big one and these are by Studio Calico. And I'm actually, I think I'm just going to adhere it right here and then we're going to have a sticker that comes and sits on top. But I think that looks good. I know you can't see the whole frame, but I like that you can see little parts of it. So I'm going to grab my hot glue. Now you can't see me on camera with this, but I am hot gluing. And then we're just going to adhere it. Just like that. And now it's time to add the fun sticker, which I love. This is the element sheets, the element sticker sheet. And there's so many fun things here. I'm gonna see if I can show you all of them. We're gonna be using this really cool skeleton that I love. There's these really cool pumpkins and a jar with a spider on it. And there's some really fun um, quotes that are in frames. Just so many fun things and a black cat. And they even have um, the top to a tag. If you wanted to um, just change out the plain black, you could put in the chevron black. There's so many cool things on here. And I just, I love Halloween. I love everything they've come up with. Um, but today we're going to use the skeleton for our card. We're going to pull him off. And he's got an extra little cut up I need to get off. There we go. Okay. It's a fancy skeleton with a top hat. So we're going to place him right here. But I'm going to use some foam dots for this. And you'll see he has a, um, some skinny, obviously, skinny legs. <laughs> He's a skeleton. Um, we're going to use some smaller foam dots for his legs, so just so that they don't stick to the card. Flat. We want them to all be 3D here. Off your backing. Okay. Place him right on your card. You know what? I forgot. We used foam adhesive for our tag, so we kind of have to do a double layer of foam adhesive. So I'm going to add extra foam dot so he'll stand up the right way. And I added foam dots where I shouldn't have. Okay, we'll add one to his head. Okay, perfect. And now I want to add just some kind of a sentiment um, before I finish it off. And i um, just trying to decide what I wanted to do earlier. And I just, I really love this haunted sign. Let's see if that will work. I know it's not a usual sentiment. Usually we say happy Halloween or something like that, but I just, I love the way that banner looks. How about right there? Let me turn around towards me so I can see it really quick. I like it right there. Let's do just some more foam adhesive. I'm just going to take two small ones this time. You can tell I go through quite a bit of foam adhesive, but I love it. And I know you can get the, if you're looking for a cheaper version of foam adhesive, you can just go to a lot of dollar stores still have a roll of mounting tape, wall mounting tape, and that works really well too, but you do have to cut it every time, which is kind of nice. You can cut it down to the size you want. Um, actually, this needs to be taller, but I like the ones that are already cut for me. Just it's faster, it's simpler, and they're not that expensive. I usually get these ones um, like at Michael's and use a 40% off coupon, um, so they're only like a dollar as well. And then I can use as much as I want. <laughs> I don't have to feel bad. Okay, so there's our card, and we're going to add our gemstones. Give it a little sparkle. And these are new from Doodlebug. They're the Beetle Black Assortment of Jewels. They've got really big ones, smaller ones. They don't have any of the teeny tiny ones on here, but they're chunky, and they're big, and they're super fun. So we're going to open this up, and I'm just going to place them wherever I kind of feel like it. And the nice thing is about these is you can move them around. They're not so sticky that you can't 
change their placement. Maybe right there. Okay. Well, let me take one last look, make sure we don't need anything. I think it looks good. A little creepy, a little scary for Halloween, just how I like it. And that's the end of our card. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun and maybe get into the Halloween spirit. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.